Ever notice humans have more hair on their butts than monkeys? Thought that was weird? Well, it's about to get weirder. Stay tuned. Bye. Welcome to my new segment, which I like to call Monday Rants. It's where I rant on a Monday. Hence, Monday Rants. Get it? Now, I know you couldn't probably tell with my pale Irish complexion, but I'm actually brown. I know, shocking, right? But it's okay, I've come to terms with it. I'm cool with it. What am I saying? Being brown's great. No, it's not. So in the past year, I've lost a lot of weight. I was at 190 this time last year, and a month ago I was at 150, and I got too comfortable, and a couple of Big Macs later, I'm 160 right now. And in the past week, I've gotten sick. I'm still kind of sick. <laughs> If it's milky green, does it mean I'm getting better? So when brown people saw that I was sick, like all brown people, they assumed it was because of my weight loss, especially my mother. And here's some of the things I've heard over the past week over and over and over and over again. Your son, he looks terrible. What happened? Did you stop feeding him? This was my waist size last year. This is my waist size now. See, this time last year when I was 190 pounds, brown people, they didn't complain. They said I looked fine. But my friends thought I was fat. I thought I was fat. I was fat. I thought I was slipping back into my old ways from grades 6, 7, and 8. Man, I was fat back then. But McChickens was only $2 then, son. No one's gonna pass up on $2 McChickens. I used to buy two of those at a time, take the bottom bun out, flip them, put them together like a Big Mac McChicken. And that was my diet. Life was good. Then I got fat. Then I got depressed. And here I am now. So I have concluded one thing. This is a brown person's ideal body type. As you can see, the pot belly indicates three things. One, he has money. Two, he can feed himself. And three, he looks good. At least in their eyes. And then you have this. Now this might be the ideal body type for the newer generations. But not for the old brown generations. This means three things. One, he can't feed himself. Two, he must be poor, and three, he's just plain skinny. His insides are showing. And that concludes my thoughts on why brown people think chubby is beautiful. You okay. good? Anyway, beautiful. You're sick because you don't eat properly. Grilled chicken and salad is not a healthy diet. Why? 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 Yeah, I'm sure I didn't get sick because of the sudden temperature change because my mom likes to crank up the AC It's like minus 30 in the house and plus 30 outside degrees Celsius. That is not Fahrenheit I'm Canadian. It is so cold in my basement. I shit you not My farts come out solid my farts come out solid like I would just fart like it wouldn't even be like pfft. It'll be like pfft. and like an icicle just would just, just like come out of my ass an icicle. Drink Horlix. It'll cure your cold. You know, there's two words that just shouldn't be put together, at least when you're sick, and that's whore and licks. The ish tastes like raw chocolate sweetener. Have you ever tasted raw sweetener? I don't know what old people's feet taste like, but I'm pretty sure that's what it tastes like. Nasty. Stop going to the gym. Just stay home and eat rice and curry. You'll be fit. Yeah, yeah, that, that's some good advice. You know what? I'll take that advice. I'll stay home. I won't go to the gym. I'll eat rice and curry all day. Uh, watch brown dramas under a fluorescent light, get depressed, and then kill myself. That's it. That's all I'll do. No big deal. No biggie. It's like what a brown Ben Parker would have told a brown Spider-Man in an alternate universe with extreme brownness comes extreme irrationality. Now don't get me wrong, I like brown food as much as the next Sri Lankanian, but I like to try different things. Like I like Italianese food, Chinanian food, Hispananian food, I like it all. I just don't like to stick to one food every day. My grandfather back home was 94 when he passed away and he never went to the doctor or got sick. And he ate rice and curry. Yeah, you know why he wasn't sick? Because he lived back home at a time when there was no pollution. He had to walk to school about 25 miles every day, barefoot, heavy ass books on his back. He had to walk back for lunch, had 
to walk back after lunch and had to walk back home after school. Plus, there was no aspartamiumisms in their drink to cause cancer. There was no animal piss in their food for preservatives. Of course you're gonna live till 94 healthy. Eating yogurt will make your hair grow. <laughs> That's just stupid. You know what? I'm gonna look that up. Yogurt for hair. Accelerating the growth of growing hair. Well, I'll be lice on a monkey. You know what? I'm gonna get some yogurt. Hmm. Oh. Close enough. So that concludes this segment of my Monday rants. Tune in next week where I rant about Pluto, dwarf planet, dumbass, it's a dog. And as always, keep it weird. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos, click here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Don't touch the dislike button, it'll just hurt my feelings. But yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you'll excuse me, my dog's eating a bag of chips. I gotta go stop her. Stop that.